Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in a packed presentation this week. Sprint ace Dominus DQ'd after winning the Barbados feature at the Garrison Savannah. In Jamaica, champion trainer Jason Acosta's filly too hot for her rivals in the Kaz Hoshe Trophy. A colony leading 14th stakes win at Canada's Woodbine for jockey Patrick Husbands. His Barbadian colleague Rashawn Latchman also grabbing some stake spotlight at Charleston in West Virginia. And we recap two massive events shown live on Sportsmax. The $6 million Breeders' Classic in California and Australia's richest race, the Melbourne Cup. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent, our opening story from Barbados. We are a fit looking Dominus paraded ahead of Friday's main event as racing resumed at the Garrison Savannah after a seven week break. Dominus, the three horse, a two to one second favorite for the US $11,000 welcome back feature. Fairly competitive betting for the five and a half furlong sprint. Number one, Bodhi Tap at five to one, as is the two horse, Sir Jimmy. Number four, Zico is at seven to two. Five Jocular, the eight to five favorite, and number seven, Show the Money, is at four to one. Neil Gill in the combox, calling a predictable front running show by Dominus. They've done the opening quarter in 26 and 4. And it is Dominus still in front now by a length and a half. Make it two lengths. Jocular is trying her, her level best to get there. Then comes on the other side is Bodhi Tap as they come with just about a furlong and a half to go. And it is Dominus in front now by about two, three lengths and, and trying to widen as they swing to the judge. And it is in front Dominus. The others will have no response. But it is Dominus in front. It will Dominus win it. Yes, he will. He will win this quite well. Easily done. Well done, Dominus. Celebration, though, for Dominus short lived. The stewards, after a look at this incident where Dominus shuts off this rail move by Boditap, is disqualified and placed second. The 2020 Sandalin Gold Cup runner up behind a Night Prowler. Boditap gets a fourth Garrison Savannah win, promoted to first with the jockey Lester Edwards. His third win this aboard Bodhi Tap for trainer Remel Lavelle and 2023 Sandalane Gold Cup winning owner Mark Goodrich. Andrew Nunes' disappointment as Dominus' trainer coming after he had won the previous race, the Play Park Handicap 7th race, with his six-year-old gelding undisputed, topping a good field that included former Triple Crown winner People's Champ and Nilos, who won the 2022 Tanglewood Stakes. Ricky Walcott in the yellow cap on one of his three winners on the evening fending off the mild challenge of Rapunzel's dream. To score by two and three quarter lengths at three to one odds for ex-champion trainer Nunes, undisputed clocks 144.60 for the 7.8 furlong trip for his fifth career win and first in just over two years. Jamaica's K Manus Park card Saturday featured the Kaz Ho Shea Trophy six furlong sprint run in honor of the brilliant 1982 horse of the year. A big field of 14 here, including the favorite Duke and second favorite Madeline Sunshine, both having run some good races so far this year, but each with just one win in 2023. Ace commentator Brian Rickman picks them up, coming off the final bend. As you're about to arrive at the 516th, Madeline Sunshine attempting to go gate to wire with that lead, turning for home, stepping just off the rail. The van is closest to it. On the outside, here comes the favorite Duke the Grey, but it is still Madeline Sunshine bounding along inside the final. 316th and now the stick comes out in the left hand of action pack Rayon Lewis and it's Madeline Sunshine streaking away from them being chased all the while by Laban and Duke Ray Scar is wound up out wide but Madeline Sunshine will not be caught and will take the Casache by maybe five lengths Laban is second Carlton Watson's US bred Madeline Sunshine uses her telling speed to dominate here, closing a triple for leading jockey Ryan Lewis, enjoying his best day in the saddle since his September 16 five timer. Madeline Sunshine by five and three quarter lengths over the 92 bet Laban, clocking 113 for the six furlong Caso Shea, winning trainer Jason Acosta, just one away now from 100 winners this year, 73 in Jamaica and 26 in the USA. And don't forget, we have big prep races for December's Mute Mile coming up this weekend at uh, Caymanus Park, including the Jamaica Cup, which will be live on Sportsmax. Now to that Patrick Husband story from Canada. No rider so far this season has more stakes wins at Toronto's Woodbine than the 50-year-old Barbadian. And here's how he won number 14. Husbands and owner Gary Barber's Pink Silks aboard the 4-1 bet with Waters Rand, about to leave the rail for his winning run in the Mazarine Stakes for two-year-old Phillies. 
Mystic Lake, Tripolina, Vitwaters Rand, the inside, then uphill dance, and Mystic Lake still in front. Here comes Vitwaters Rand. Electric move off the inside by Patrick. Husbands has spurted to the front. Tripolina chasing, but Vitwaters Rand is running away with a Mazarine stakes in magnificent fashion and had a lot left. One by three. Husbands has so many records in Canadian racing. Other Caribbean jocks, Emil Ram Sammy of TNT and Jamaican Georgia Sang had won the Mazarine before, but no rider even close to Husbands with a record eight wins now in the event. Whitwaters Rand by two and three quarter lengths in her second win in three starts for Husbands and champion trainer Mark Cassie defeating the favorite Tripolina and clocking 143.72 for eight and a half furlongs. The Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman is having one of his best seasons in the USA. 77 wins so far, three stakes victories, and all of those added money successes aboard the Philly Director Cat. And here's the latest. Coming in Saturday's James and Eleanor Casey Memorial Stakes at Charlestown in West Virginia. Pretty much gate to wire under the 32 year old Bajan jock. Direct the cat. Rashawn Latchman just took a confident look over his shoulder and he gives her her cue and she is strutting her stuff again. She continues her dominance over the West Virginia bred ranks. Direct the cat cruises in the James and Eleanor Casey Memorial does it by seven. As one to nine favorite, Direct the Cat makes it look so easy for her third consecutive stakes win following up on the Rachel's Turn Stakes in September and the West Virginia Breeders Classic Stakes in mid-October. Latchman aboard Direct the Cat by seven and a half lengths, locking 126.01 for the seven furlong James and Eleanor Casey Memorial, one of three wins for Latchman in the past week at Charlestown, where fellow Barbadian Kimar Trotman had four wins, including a Saturday double. One of World Racing's richest meets, the two-day Breeders' Cup Festival, was in California this past weekend at Santa Anita Park. The main event, the Breeders' Cup Classic, worth six million US dollars, and it provided a solid win for a horse that you've seen here before on At The Track. Previously trained by Barbadian Safi Joseph, White Abario was the Florida Derby winner last year for Safi, and the great Colt on the outside here is en route to a massive win in the Classic, shown live Saturday on Sportsmax. As White of Barrio and Arabia Night turn for home together in the Breeders' Cup Classic. White of Barrio has taken the lead. Arabia Night gives way. Dermis Sotagake and Ospa Tesoro are trying to close the gap. But it is White of Barrio and Arad Ortiz. And they have won the Breeders' Cup Classic over Dermis Sotagake. Safi Joseph lost White Abaria to new trainer Richard Dutrow in May in a bizarre sequence of events. Safi had two horses die unexpectedly in the week of the Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs, where the authorities scratched Joseph's entries from races that week and suspended him. The New York Racing Association subsequently wouldn't accept stakes nominations from Joseph either, so White Abaria needed a new trainer. The suspension, which Joseph insisted was unfair because investigations had not served up evidence of wrongdoing, was lifted weeks later, by the way. But by then, the owners had taken White Barrio to Dutro because they wanted to race in Belmont's Metropolitan Mile in early June. White Barrio is the 5-2 favorite in the Breeders' Cup Classic, winning by a length on the jockey Irad Ortiz Jr., beating the 26-1 Japanese entry Derma Sotogake and clocking 202.87 for 10 furlongs. I should tell you that Safi Joseph had two third place finishes on Saturday's Breeders' Cup Day card with his four-year-olds, the Philly Three Witches in the Philly and Mare Sprint and Skippy Long Stocking in the Dirt Mile. Let's head to Australia now, shall we, for the Melbourne Cup worth 8 million Aussie dollars. 23 runners going two miles and so many of them had a shot at victory heading into the home stretch. What a race it was. The world in Australia stops for the Melbourne Cup. And let's pause to show where the winner came from. Jockey Mark Zara in the yellow silks in about 13th position here, trying to find a way through. Into the straight of the Lexus Melbourne Cup, and here's Vauban on the outside of future history and Vow and Declare between them. Absurd is also chiming in. 400 metres to go. It's absurd moving up on the outside for Zach Burden. A length in front, but without a fight, is running on right down the centre of the track. Without a fight, up to Absurd, Vow and Declare, and Shiraz the Volta. It's without a fight. 100 metres to go. Two or three lengths in front, coming away from Shiraz and also Solgan. Without a fight, Mark Zara, a Melbourne Cup champion. After winning the Melbourne Cup last year aboard Gold Trip, who was a 92 bet to repeat, Zara chose without a fight as his mount this year and is vindicated with his decision as he wins and Gold Trip finishes 17th. 
Without a fight shows he's Australia's best stare. He clocks 3.18.37 for the two-mile Melbourne Cup. Zara also becomes the first jockey in 44 years to win back-to-back -back Melbourne Cups on different horses. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada. Before we go, in the past week since our last show, I've counted 32 victories. Among them, the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. with four weekend wins at Florida's Gulfstream Park. Barbadian Rocker Boyne rode five winners, four of them at Mahoning Valley. Veteran Jamaican jockey Barrington Harvey had a triple on Sunday at Los Alamitos. And there were two wins at Laurel Park for the Jamaican trainer, former jockey Joseph Woodit. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.